Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Teacher Ben. Uh, como estas? Como esta manca? Uh, como esta pokeo? Como esta uh, na camo? Uh, yeah. So, um, yes, this is my second installment in the ongoing series of comparing Portuguese, Spanish, Portuguese, Tagalog, Bisaya, and Bicol. All right, so without further ado, let's become... Uh, very uh, many languages. <laughs> Let's learn a lot of languages at one time. All right, here we go. Uh, first one is girlfriend. These are going from the bigger language to the relatively big language to a moderate sized language to a smaller language to a very small language. Okay, so girlfriend in Spanish is novia. Uh, in Portuguese is going to be namorada. Namorada. And uh, Namorada, give it a try. And we also have Kasintahan. Kasintahan is Tagalog. Uh, Bisaya is going to be Uyag. Uyag, give it a try. One more time, Uyag. And in Bicol, it's going to be Illusion. All right, let's move down here to small. Small is going to, you see that with the adjectives, we have the European languages sticking together. And the Tagal and the Filipino languages going their own way. And really, even among the Filipino languages, there's not much similarity. Okay, so Spanish is pequeña. Portuguese is also pequeña. Tagalog is going to be mali it. Bisaya is going to be gamay. And Bicol has two words for small. Going to be sadai or sadit. All right, so let's see here. Let's focus here on the Bisaya word because Bisaya seems to be a popular language among my audience. Uh, let's give it a try. Gamai. Gamai, give it a try. One more time. Gamai. All right. So um, let's go ahead and uh, continue on here. We do have big. Again, the uh, European languages sticking to the same word. Grande. For Spanish, grande for Portuguese. We have uh, the Filipino languages uh, going their own way. We have Malakin for Tagalog, uh, Daco for Bisaya, and Dakula for Bicol. So a little bit similarity between Bisaya and Bicol. All right, let's look at long. Again, the European languages sticking together. We have Larga, Longa for Portuguese. We obviously have Tagalog going to be Mahaba. And then moving down to Bisaya, we have Dugai. And for, <coughs> for Bicol, we do have Halaba. Halaba or Alaba. Both can work there. So uh, that is all for my uh, second installment in the ongoing series of comparing Spanish, Portuguese, uh, Tagalog, Bisaya and Bicol. So stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Much longer lessons will be coming soon. To stay up to date on these and get a notification when the longer videos are posted, do like and smash me a subscribe. I do look forward to seeing you in my next lesson as my loyal subscriber. Thank you and have a wonderful day. All right, so we can say palam or adios. That covers primarily most of those languages. So, uh, palam, adios, bye-bye. Adios, <laughs> if you're Portuguese, bye-bye.